Okay. On the cuffs, they have a deadbolt position and a ready to cuff position. You want to be in the ready to cuff position. So the black dot on the cylinder is aligning with the green dot on the shell for both cuffs. This allows you to spin them. You want the inmate's arms over and under like that. We're going to have both cylinders facing in the same direction with the double strand out towards you. Both cylinders are in the same direction. Then we want to deadbolt them so they can't be shimmed. You take your key, you put it in the cuff, and you rotate it towards the red position, and you wiggle your key to get it out. And you do that on both cuffs. They're now deadbolted, and they can't be shimmed. The orange transport box has two holes. One's for Smith & Wesson, and one's for Peerless. These are peerless that are on him now. We're going to use the holes that are closest to the slot, and we want the slot closest to the body. This way the chain won't have much gap. And if he fights you, ask him to cooperate. You're going to take the clip, slide it on, and you can see the slot is closest to his chest. There are two ways to do the chain. One, you feed the chain through, you take the long length, you slide it through one of the other lengths, and then through the slide. Take the padlock, make sure it's in the ready to lock position. You slide it through, you lock it, keys out. Take the excess chain, wrap it around, and cinch it. That's all there is to it. Now there's no strain on his wrist, he's completely locked, it's around his waist.